Well, hello, it's Wednesday, so it must be time for Woolly Hats Wednesday Week. And you join me on a, a, a cool uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, the sun's trying to come out, there's a few clouds in the sky, and uh, the daffodils are showing their face in the uh, semi-sunshine. Anyway, what have I been up to? I've been up to loads of things, uh, both knitting and crochet related, and other things as well, so I'm feeling a bit... Oof. Anyway, um... Uh, what happened? At the weekend we had a fantastic sock workshop and I had uh, nine people there learning how to knit socks and they all managed to achieve things and knitted little mini socks so that's great and I've already heard from some of them who are going on to knit a big sock for an adult which is great stuff. So we had great fun and um, everybody did very well so well done everybody. Uh, I'm also preparing for uh, the Granny Square um, blanket course and we're now on to the third week so we're going to be doing um, last week we did puffs and popcorns and we also learned how to do a double treble stitch so that you can have elongated stitches um, and this time we're going to use our elongated double trebles to do little crosses like that isn't that sweet so basically it's uh, rather than just going straight down uh, to the next level you're going two levels down to the little cross there, little tr uh, treble cluster there. So I think we'll enjoy doing that. The other one that we're going to have a go at, we'll see how we do with this, is the um, uh, fleur, petit fleur square. So that's a flower and then basically it turns into a granny square, which I think is rather fun. So they'll be learning how to do, how to make long and short stitches to create petals and things like that. So that will be good fun. So, um, that's there. So yes, so we're having fun with our granny squares and lots of them are being made as I speak, I'm no doubt. Uh, anyway, we'll see tomorrow when we get to the classes. So what else have we been up to? Well, some of you might remember I've been using some lovely <coughs> Rico Chunky yarn to knit uh, uh, somebody a present for their birthday. And uh, so I have done all the bits and pieces. So I've done the there's the v-neck so you can see it's lovely it can be out really nice i've started to sew it up okay so the sleeves are wider at the bottom than the top which is quite interesting uh but that's what the pattern says so that's what i did um and uh so there we go so i've got just one more sleeve to put on there and side the sides now i've been using mattress stitch as some of you may know i love a bit of mattress stitch because it makes the edges really quite quite neat um, and certainly on the seams, so you can hardly see the join there. So it's a good stitch to learn. So I might put a link onto the uh, pe Facebook page or something, but it is a fab thing to do. And uh, it's a great way of finishing off because if you spend all your time knitting or crocheting and you don't finish it off well, then it, it doesn't reflect the time and love and effort that you've put in to your precious project. And if it's for somebody else, it needs to be really rather good. If it's for me, I could cope with a mistake or two, but here, uh, for it's for somebody else, I think you're a bit more diligent, aren't you? Well, I am, anyway. So that's that's there, but this is a, it's a lovely yarn. It's got some wool in and other stuff in, but and it's a chunky yarn and it's sort of a fluffy. So I hope she likes that. Anyway, birthday's not until the end of April, so I've got plenty of time to finish that there. Um, so there we go. So that's what I've been up to this week. I've also been planting lots of um, tr trees or hedge plants with Mr W in our wood and we've been entertained royally by the birds on the bird feed including long tail tits and nut hatches and blue tits and great tits and the old pheasant as well. So that's been also taking my time. So uh, this week, yes, so we've got the classes tomorrow and then uh, the third class in the Crochet the Granny Square course. We've had this time for I know. Um, so that is it for me. Just to say, I'm wearing my Iona jumper uh, made with wool from uh, Iona Cooperative of Farmers. So all the wool comes from Iona sheep. And the pattern is called Iona and it's from one of my favourite designers, Sarah Hatton. She listed it for, or she designed it for West Yorkshire Spinners, also one of my favourite um, yarn producers. But I didn't use that wool, I used the Iona wool. So uh, here we are, an Iona jumper with our Iona pattern. And I was just talking to Mr W just this last week about the fact that we need to probably go to Iona so I can wear my Iona jumper there. But we'll see, see what we can fit in. That's all for me this week and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye for now. <laughs>